Dan Martin hauls his way back to the wheel of Roglic. Hugh Carthy has now been distanced. Carthy in all sorts of trouble. We can just see Carapaz not able to get comfy. He's on his drops, trying to uh, close the gap to Roglic. Then he's onto his tops, trying to get into the most comfortable position for uh, Carapaz in the red jersey. Set Kurs and Enric Mas going backwards. 30 seconds to Roglic. So Mas is fifth place overall, not in difficulty, but he's losing time. Another acceleration by the Ecuadorian. Richard Carapaz gets out the saddle. They re realise that Hugh Carthy is now behind. And another big attack by Primoz Roglic. It's like a match sprint between these two riders. Four hours, five minutes, and now Roglic goes clear again. Well, Roglic made that attack. Carapaz was able to get back on terms, and he thought, I need to try and break Roglic here. I'll make an attack myself. He wasn't actually able to gain any time at all, and uh, Roglic just playing with uh, Carapaz opens up more time, making it look easy as soon as he puts that acceleration down. And now Dan Martin just trying to haul his way back as Roglic gets out the saddle again. This rider is 30 seconds down on Carapaz. He needs the 10 second time bonus. Carapaz needs to limit the losses here. These two riders proving themselves the strongest in this welter. You wonder whether Hugh Carthy's attack was just a little bit too early. Maybe didn't realize how brutal this climb was gonna be. Four hours and six and a half minutes just coming up. Primoz Roglic will turn the corner now and he will see the gantry in front of him across the road. This rider suffered terribly on Sunday, but now he's making the rest of this peloton suffer. The defending champion going for the stage victory on the top of the Altamont Cavia. It is a, going to be a win for Primoz Roglic. 100 metres to go inside the rush to the finish. And now... He turns back the disappointment of Sunday to a stage victory on the top of Alta de Moncavio.